Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. My husband and I recently returned from spending half a month in Japan. It was truly one of the greatest experiences of my life. Japan is a beautiful country. It is full of the nicest, most polite people I have ever met. It is incredibly scenic. The sightseeing and theme parks are top notch. The food is also delicious. It is also a toy collector's heaven on earth, for you can find all sorts of fun and unique collectibles all over the place. If you follow me on social media, then you've no doubt been following my adventures through Japan. I had been sharing many photos and information and details about the things that I've been seeing and the toys that I've been buying. Our travels took us to Tokyo, Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, Kyoto, Universal Studios Japan, Osaka, Hiroshima, Mayajima Island, numerous shrines, temples, castles, and historical sites, and toy stores. Plenty of toy stores. Lots of toy stores. And that's where this video comes in, for I bring you Toy Hunting Adventures Japan Edition. Our first full day in Tokyo, we visited Nakano Broadway. It is a large shopping mall with several levels and it contains toy store after toy store after toy store. We probably visited at least 20 toy stores in this one mall alone. I saw all sorts of things. Some stores must have had 100 SH Figuarts action figures. Some of them specialized in vintage toys. Others had current toys, such as Star Wars The Black Series and Marvel Legends, though they were kind of expensive compared to some of the other toys that they had. And other stores yet had plenty of modern era toys from all sorts of franchises. Our next stop that day was the area of Akihabara. It is an area of Tokyo famous for its electronic stores and anime culture. The first place we went to there was Ami Ami, which is also an online store I occasionally import toys from to the U.S. Their store is a two-level store which contains all sorts of toys and collectibles, just as you would find on their website. After that, we happened to come across the Kotobukiya store. As you might imagine, the entire store features Kotobukiya products. But it also carries toys from numerous other companies such as Medicom Mayfex, Bandai, Hasbro, and more. It was truly an impressive store that featured multiple levels and more toys than I could imagine. We then went to Bic Camera. Despite its name, Big Camera has a sizable selection of Japanese action figures. I was delighted to find some SH Figure Arts offerings for Star Wars. Some locations of this store did not carry any toys, but one we later found in the Shinjuku area of Tokyo had the most incredible selection of toys. From Lego to Takara Tomy to Hasbro and Bandai, this was probably the single best selection of toys that I found in Japan. So let's go inside the really awesome Shinjuku Bit Camera. And uh, such a huge store. Uh, it's like four or five levels of, of merchandise, all kinds of stuff. Basically like a department store. You can get all sorts of things here, including musical instruments, sporting goods, clothing, appliances, and toys. It's just pretty wild. And uh, like I said, not all big camera locations have toys. Some of them have small toy sections. Uh, and then this was the best one that I came across uh, in our time in Japan was uh, this one here in Shinjuku. It just had a huge selection. SH Monster Arts Godzilla. All of these uh, little Bandai monsters of different sorts. Some puzzles. All kinds of uh, stuff. I mean, the Transformer type robotic stuff is just absolutely tremendously huge in Japan. So much of that stuff everywhere. Here we have a Star Wars section. And uh, let's see what they got. They have some SH Figure Arts and Medicom Mafex Star Wars figures. It's really cool to just walk into a store and be able to find these sorts of things because, uh, you know, usually I have to import them into the U.S. Some of those titanium helmets that we have in the U.S. Some six-inch Star Wars The Black Series figures. More expensive here in Japan. 
Uh, these are very interesting. They're Bandai 6-inch 5 POA action figures. The only two they have here are Captain Phasma and Chewbacca. None of the others. There's quite a few others, it looks like, too. Some 5 POA action figures. Some uh, Black Series die-cast vehicles. And uh, some of the 12-inch uh, shampoo bottles. First Order TIE Fighter. Ooh, that's over $200. <laughs> Insane. Some of those Jack Pacific figures. I think these are the smaller ones. Uh, I don't think I've seen that Bosk before. Pretty interesting stuff. These Geshapon machines, as they're called, are huge in Japan. They're absolutely found all over the place. Uh, you can go into subway stations, you can go into stores, you can go into, like we have here, toy stores, or you just find them out on the street. Um, they're huge. They're kind of like the machines that we have in the U.S. where you see them outside of, you know, like a Toys R Us or something. You put a quarter or 50 cents in and it gives you a prize. They're kind of along those lines, but these are way better. They're a little bit more expensive. They're usually between one and four dollars, but you get some really awesome prizes, uh, very high quality prizes in these machines, so... Uh, definitely something I really wish we had in the U.S. But they are definitely popular here, and I amassed a little collection of uh, some of these during my time in Japan. Just all sorts of crazy stuff that you see in these machines. It's really something else. Over here we have some of the Takara Tomi dinosaurs and animals and this is something that i was not familiar with i didn't know about this line here's a three pack with t-rex velociraptor and a very jurassic world looking mosasaurus very awesome stuff and they're articulated dinosaurs too they're small they're inexpensive but they have articulated joints so that is really cool because you don't really see that with dinosaur toys Schleich dinosaurs over here on this side. Some fossil type dinosaurs. Cool stuff. We are now at a Toys R Us, Babies R Us in Kyoto, Japan. We've been using electric bicycles to get around and we decided to travel over here and see what we could find. So I am going to go ahead and go into the store and see what a Japan Toys R Us is like. Really excited about this. Looks like they have quite a Lego section. There's a, a lot of Lego stuff to be seen. Now, I don't collect Transformers, but I know some of you do, so in case you do, this is what they have here. And there's our Star Wars section. And uh, looks like they have quite a few 6-inch The Black Series figures. Quite a few Chewbacca's. And uh, those are 10.98 yen, which is uh, around $9 and change. Some of these, these are 14.98 yen, uh, which would be closer to around $13 or so. 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. These are only 3.98 yen, so they're, that's going to be around uh, maybe like 3.50 or so. And oh wow, a 40th anniversary Star Wars The Black Series Death Squad Commander. I haven't even seen one of these in the U.S., so I'm pretty surprised to come upon it here in Japan. That's uh, it's really cool to see. Presumably they had more of these, and this is the last one that remains. I don't know why they have that white uh, insert there inside uh, the bubble. I've noticed that here in Japan for these 40th figures that they have that white insert, and then the sticker on the back with the Japanese lettering. Some more Lego down here. A multi pack. I think I've seen this one in the US. 
and uh, some SH figure arts, uh, figures and Bandai model kits. Oh, that's the uh, Toys R Us exclusive three pack, the Astro McDroid three pack. I only ever saw that once in uh, the US. Didn't buy it at the time, never saw it again. Here it is for about $45 US. Pretty cool stuff in here. Those helmets are kind of cool. Bandai model kits. We have some Funko Pops. And then Mr. Potato Head's down there on bottom. Six inch TIE Fighter. And then over here we have some random stuff. And uh, these are the Takara Tomy uh, die cast figurines. They're about three inch scale. They also make some vehicles. And uh, this is what they look like out of the boxes. So it's pretty cool to see examples of what you can expect to get if you buy these. More of the figures down here on bottom for, for the Takara Tomies. some Batman v Superman. We have some Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. This is pretty cool. There's the winged Spidey right there. Haven't seen that in the US. There's also the uh, the Homecoming homemade suit. I picked this one up on Amazon previously but I haven't seen it at retail in the US. Looks like they're about, uh, about $25 US. So I'm going to go ahead and wait on the winged Spidey for now because it's a little overpriced. Uh, some more Black Series and uh, some two packs, more Funko Pops. Pretty cool. Here we have some uh, SH Figure Arts. So, having visited countless toy shops in Japan, including the big box stores such as Bit Camera and Toys R Us, I can conclude a few things. Firstly, toys in Japan are geared primarily towards adults. This may sound funny to the average American, but it is absolutely the case. In fact, in the specialty toy stores I visited, I would say that 90% of the customers shopping were adults. The same goes for the Geshapon machines. Secondly, while you do have the mass-produced toys such as Lego and products from Mattel and Hasbro, most of the items toy stores carry are by Japanese companies like Bandai, Takara Tomy, Kotobukiya, Medicom, and Figma. And finally, Japan is very much about quality when it comes to products. This is apparent in all types of merchandise found in the country, but it is also very noticeable in the toy stores as well. The big companies we tend to see a lot of in the US have a much smaller footprint in Japanese toy shops, with most of the retail space going to the higher end, better quality companies like Bandai and Figma. I thought these were very interesting points. So what exactly did I end up purchasing in Japan? Well, quite a few things. In part two, we will examine in great detail the many toys and collectibles I acquired on my toy hunting adventures in Japan. As always, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Toy Hunting Adventures on Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye bye